Lord Gogeta has arrived! So today we are going to talk about the Zinkai Awakening of Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and whether it is good for him or not. Now before we start don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already to help us hit 20,000 subscribers and if you enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button and share the video with your friends. And without any further ado let's just get started. By the way let me know your opinion about what he needs for his Zinkai Awakening for it to be good enough uh, to be use useful in PvP instead of being just Zinkai buffs for Goku Tag Frieza. Now, as you can see they are saying awaken to gain special cover change nullification on special arts which is basically the green card on hit uh, which isn't that good actually but it's okay for five counts. Five counts isn't the longest ever basically it's it's still the exact same as basically three counts because all you are going to be able to do is just chain one card and then if you try to basically chain another card unless you click on them after each other you might actually be able to chain another card if you click on them together uh, but other than that you aren't going to be able to chain any more cards so it's not going to be the most useful thing but at least it's going to allow him to start the combo without fearing cover change after his green card which is something that he needed on his green card now after that unlock all uniques to inflict enemies with damage received up etc uh, when entering the the field so they aren't telling us anything special about him which is concerning but they didn't tell us anything special about uh, neither uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku nor the uh, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black uh, and they still ended up being actually really good especially Super Saiyan 4 Goku he is now what is it like 7 or 8 months old and he is still one-shotting characters. He is still one-shotting characters. That's just insane. His Zinkai Awakening was just on another level. Now granted, GT needed a Zinkai Awakening that is that strong in order to be able to be uh, competitive in PvP again. Uh, so I don't know if they are going to do the same actually for Universe Survival Saga, especially with the fact that this character is going to compete with their main character of the fifth anniversary which is basically Goku Tag Frieza so I don't know if they are going to go so hard on him to make him as good as Super Saiyan 4 Goku uh, but I really hope they do because he is a character that deserve actually being uh, good enough because he never was good enough he never was he was like for maybe one month and he wasn't actually uh, the best character in the game he was just one of the best uh, and then he basically got countered by Gogeta Blue and the rest of the story, you know, he just got forgotten after that. So what does he need actually in order to become a good character or a good Zinkai? Well, one of the main things that he need is obviously cover nullification on on something else as well because five counts is nowhere enough it's like literally nowhere enough so he needs cover nullification on something else as well uh, maybe his main if if they give him on his main that would be really good or maybe entering the battle uh, the battlefield for two times uh, we have a character like Gogeta Blue who has it ult uh, unlimited times he just entered the battlefield he has the cover notification and he can go on and it takes a long time before he loses his cover notification so basically his ability is just on another level I don't think that they are going to give him something similar to that but at least maybe uh, on entrance for basically two times uh, it activate two times and that would be very good so I don't know if they are going to give him another cover change notification but I really hope they, they do because if they don't that is going to be a very big downgrade for him especially in the current meta where every character has cover change. Now the second thing that is extremely useful for him and very very needed I think that if they don't give him this one thing single thing uh, his Zinkai awakening no matter how it is it's going to be trash and that is basically element nullification. 
Jiren is going to literally destroy him. Kid Buu is going to literally destroy him if he doesn't have element nullification because let's be honest his defense no matter how much they raise it unless they make him a defensive type character his defense is going to be as bad as it was they aren't going to make it super duper broken they are going to increase it a little bit but it's still going to be bad so unless they give him on some way or in some shape or form uh, element nullification I don't think that he is going to be good enough to be used actually in the current meta. I really think that he he need, he need, not it would be good for him, he need element nullification. Without it, he is going to be out of the meta immediately. He isn't going to be entering the meta even. So I really hope that they do give him cover, uh, uh, element nullification because that is actually the number one thing he need. Uh, to be able to actually compete in the current meta. So two things that are very very important for him cover, and ch cover change notification on something else other than his green card and an element notification somehow. Maybe when his HP droops to, to below 50% or when he uses his main ability or when he uses his green card but I think that if, if he would have done it he, they would have actually said it here so maybe on main or when his HP droops below 50% that would be really good for him. Now the, he need obviously more defenses as well. Uh, unfortunately no matter how much they, they raise his defenses I don't think that he is going to be actually defensively broken. Uh, unless they go so hard on it which I don't think that they are going to do because otherwise why would you use Goku tag Frieza when you can use actually this Goku so I don't know how hard they want actually to go with this Goku uh, because of the fact that he is competing with the main anniversary character but if they want to go really hard on him his defenses are actually the number three thing that he needs to be uh, to be good and if they increase them really really good which I don't think they are going to do but if they do that is going to make him actually very very good in the current meta so if they give him cover change nullification, element nullification and good defenses, all of his all of his problems are actually fixed. He is going to be very very good in the current meta. If they don't give him actually element nullification, I think that he, he still have the major problem of being dead basically by any special move from any uh, from any yellow character that is basically currently in the meta, uh, which isn't going to be so good. Uh, and I think that he's going to pretty much die from any ultimate as well. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how useful that is going to be. Uh, but I think that if he if he doesn't get the element notification that is going to be the biggest downgrade actually for him and that is going to make him not as useful as he could have been actually with the element notification. Anyways, these are the three main things I think he should get with his Zinkai in order for his Zinkai to be good enough to compete with Goku Tag Frieza. Uh, let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below and what do you think uh, he needs basically for his Zinkai to be good. Uh, in the comments section below and I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything you new about Dragon Ball Legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.